Yo, what's up? This is In The Streets with Keys. I just came back from Medellin, Colombia, and I had a great time. Me and my friends, we roamed the streets. We went to clubs, bars, man. We had a really good time. I'm not going to lie. I almost got drugged and robbed, you know, in Medellin. So it wasn't all good. So I just want to explain to you how it happened and maybe it can help somebody else not end up in the same situation. So if you haven't heard, Medellin, Colombia has had a big problem with robberies and drugging and things like that. Just in the first three months of this year, Medellin reported 5,700 uh, robberies already. So it's kind of bad out there. I ain't going to lie. Um, check out channels like Razor Rays and DC Born Rob. Shout out to both of them because they always upload different tips and different news reports of what's happening out there. So I want to give a big shout out to them before I get started in the story. So now... Me and my friends, we having a great time. We only got about 48 hours in Medellin, so we roaming around as fast as we can. Pretty much it stayed up for like 24 hours straight. So we pretty much check out like every single club like on the strip. So when I went the first time in like 2018, 2019, the major club out there was Gusto's. Well, this time Gusto's wasn't really popping. It's like pretty much like four new bars slash clubs uh, on this little side street that is pretty much like the main ones that's popping nowadays. So we party and having a good time. So we get to this one bar that's underneath another club. It's smoky, music playing, everybody having a great time. So me, I'm sitting in the back right next to like the bathroom. It's kind of smoky back there. I'm sitting on the couch just chilling, recording a little bit, just, you know, just minding my business. My boy standing up, he getting grinded on by, by a chick, just chilling, man. He having a great time. Well, this chick comes up to me and like kind of leans in like she's going to hug me like, hey, poppy, and comes in and does her finger like this real fast across my lip really really fast and I thought that was really really weird and she did it so fast like I didn't even really have a chance to react I didn't know if she was coming to hug me but I know a lot of people like have been getting scopolamine and different like things blown in their face so I was already kind of on guard but man she was so quick it was like really no chance to really block her so once she did that I'm not gonna lie I don't condone touching a woman any way that's not pleasurable to them but as soon as she did that, I hurried up, like kind of like stiffed on her, like, whoa, what you doing? And um, I kind of did it so hard, she almost fell down. At this point, it's kind of like a scene. So everybody looking at me like, oh, what's wrong? You know, this chick, like, why are you so angry? And I'm like, hold on, like, nah. But when she did it across my lip, her thumb, it didn't really feel like a thumb. It felt like some type of substance was on her thumb. So I knew it was a problem. So I had a bottle of juice in my hand. I told my boy, yo, come outside with me, you know. I think something just happened. So I take the juice, you know, splash it around my face a little bit, like, you know, just trying to make sure like I can dilute anything that might have happened. And I stand there for a second just to see, like, make sure I'm okay, like I don't pass out or something crazy. And as I see, I see some of the girls by the doorway, like kind of looking at me and I see like dudes kind of like, if I move to the left, they kind of shadowing me too. So I tell my boy like, yo, I'm gonna walk to the hotel real quick. I walk to the hotel because it's right around the corner, thank God. I go in there, wash my face off real good, and, you know, sit there for a second just to make sure I'm okay. Because they say, like, some of those substances make you kind of almost like a zombie and, like, comply with whatever somebody wants. But they say, give me the money, you give them the money. So, I'm like, let me make sure I'm okay. So, I make sure I'm okay. Nothing really happened, like, in regards to that, thank God. Um, I only had, like, a slight headache. I don't know if it was from that or just being awake, but thank God nothing really happened. So, went back out to my boy, you know, chill, still hung out. Like, hey, man, it's my last night here. I might as well hang out. Now, what I did notice and what I found peculiar once I really thought back again on it is that some of the girls who was with that girl still kept coming up to me and, like, talking to me and asking me questions, like, did I want to go home with them or whatever the case may be, which I found weird, right? Because if you imagine if your friend does something to somebody else or, or didn't do nothing wrong at all if your friend hadn't done anything wrong at all would you go over to a person who just in theory pushed your friend down like you know what I mean like you probably wouldn't so that let me know that maybe they was trying to check my temperature to see was I still in my in my right mind state and that's kind of scary if you really think about it you got to be like there's really no coincidences you know in life sometimes you got to really pay attention and focus to what's going on so that's the story luckily nothing went wrong now what did i do wrong and how could i prevent this one i went sat in the back of the club my boy was away from me so they thought i was alone so that's one thing that i probably wouldn't do if you go even if you are alone try not to look alone 
Try not to be in a situation where it's an opportunity for somebody to do something to you and you can't really protect yourself. So if you see a group, man, hang kind of closer to that group. Don't go all the way to the back of the club like I did sitting down. So I, I have like a general rule that I don't really eat or drink around people I didn't get on the plane with. So because I, I know a lot of people get drugged like that. They got a drink in their hand or whatever. Somebody drops something in and they ain't paying attention. I don't really eat and drink in the club. Like if I eat and drink, it's with my boys in a safe space. And then we go and have fun. I don't mix the two. So, you know, I didn't do that. So that was one of the things that I did right. And I went with people that I could trust initially. So, you know, those are all the things that you can do to try to prevent, you know, something happening to you. I think you can have a great time. Just always kind of be in the mindset that at any given moment, all it takes is a second for something to happen. Yo, so if you like this video, like, subscribe, comment. Um, I got a lot of videos on my page of different places. And maybe you'll get some extra travel tips. And just be safe out there. That's all I can tell you. Peace.